Hey everybody, General Tony here coming back with another Call of Duty live gameplay video. Today we're going to be looking at map 3 and 4 and these are going to be... Ah! These are going to be this map. That gun reloads so fast. Uh, the first the first map is this one which is the... Uh, what's this called again? Uh, I don't even know what it's called. So we're going to be looking at map 3 and 4 anyway. Alright, that guy's taking the liberty. You dare, boy. Let's see what his uh, little AE4 has. So we're using the AE4 for some uh, interesting gameplay. Just to see if we if we can get a couple of kills with it. Yeah, baby. Was there another one? So this is map 3, as I've said, for the like, fifth time. No, no, no. Why, why do you have to do that? Why do you have to use those? I must say, I've played this map quite a few times now. And it has been very entertaining to play. And I'm getting very used to this gun as well. I like this gun quite a lot now. Can we go in here? Yeah, we can. Oh, I've never been... I've never actually been up here, so we're going to stay up here and just... Just see what kind of damage we can do to these guys. You going to jump up again? Oh, no! <laughs> I wanted to stay up there. Maybe we need a silencer to stay up there in that kind of uh, midpoint of the game. Or maybe we'll just go back up and see what we can do again. Oh, I knew he was there. I couldn't see him because he had the uh, little invisibility cloak on the second time when I looked. So, uh, of all the maps you've played so far, guys, I'm guessing a lot of you have played quite a few of these maps. Which ones do you enjoy? As I said yesterday, these have got to be the most entertaining maps that pretty much they've ever added. Apart from, there's only one map pack that I can think of that's ever been able to compete with this. I'm not sure if it was better. I probably would say it was better. And that is the... Um, the initial, the first ever Call of Duty Modern Warfare first map pack they released, which was inside of an IT room. They had a, a map pack inside of an IT room, and it was insane, that map pack. If they could, like, um, create more maps like that, that would be unreal as well. All you're seeing is red and blue laser beams everywhere. Every single person is using this gun. It's such a fun gun to use. I wouldn't say it's the best gun in the... Is that guy? Yeah, I wouldn't say it's the best gun in the game, but it's literally one of the funnest, one of the uh, the funnest guns to use, just for the simple fact that it's kind of a modern gun and it's unique compared to any other guns inside of the game at this current point in time. Yeah, you keep jumping. I'll get you. I'll get you with a headshot. I'll get you with a headshot, baby. Come on, show me, show me that little head of yours. No, he managed to clutch it first. Alright, where's that little thing? This is where I want to be at. This is where I want to go. This has got to be the best uh, lookout point, advantage point in this in this map for definite. Oh, that guy decided to come up there as well. Oh, we, we just lose him by one kill. Let's see if we can actually clutch this game as well. That'll be weird if we can... Get, that'll be good if we can get the, the win with uh, some live commentary. Where are you at, boy? Gonna come up? Yes, you are. Of course, you're gonna come up. It's in the human nature to come up and have a look at his death. I must say, I do like coming into this little area here. But you can even see over to all the way over to that side. You can pretty much see the entire map, and you can see the avalanche zone, which is gonna come soon as well. It's cool. It's cool. This is a nice little vantage point. Yeah, baby. Let's see if we can get a five-six kill streak with this gun. See what we can do. Oh, I saw him come up as well, but I was just focused on killing that guy. I didn't even manage to get the, the kill on that guy. Come on, come on, some nice plays. Yes. Oh, yeah, thanks for shooting him first, mate. Cheers, buddy. This guy's definitely coming up. Give it a second. Yep, yeah, knew it, knew it. There was definitely another one. Where's he gone? Where is he gone? Ah, oh, shit. I'm dead. Yeah, he came from behind. He must have been hiding there the whole time. Definitely going to go back up into that little room, though. <laughs> it's such a cool little room to, to sit in. I should have had him there. He sponged that like crazy. Come on. This is war, motherfucker. I'm not going to swear. Let's, let's try and refrain from swearing, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, what a clutch kill. I don't know why this gun reloads for. Why doesn't it just, like, release the heat? Is there a room there? I didn't know that either. You gonna go in there? Yes, you are. Of course you are. They've got their little uh, UAV jammer thingy-majiggy up. 
Whatever it's called, I can't even remember what's that, what that's called. Where are they all at? Where are they all at? We seem to be dominating the map. Oh, they've got five players, so they're a player down. Come on, come on, come out to play. You know you wanna. There you are. There we go, we got another kill in the bag. Another day, another dollar. Another sh another bullet, another butter. Another body, not butter. I think this is uh, su pretty much becoming my favourite map inside of this game. Just for the simple fact that I'm able to sit up here and get so many kills. Ah, no, no, he managed to sponge that. Straight back into my favourite window. This is such an amazing map when I come to think about it. And the dynamics when they change because of the, uh, the avalanche zone. Oh, didn't even get a bullet on him. Can't assist on him. Oh, almost got the kill on you, boy. Two more kills. Come on, let me get one of them. Let me get one. Let me get a kill. Let me get killed, baby. Ah, oh, I could have had him. Anyway, guys, that's the first map in today's video. Second map is coming right up after this one. It's going to be the last of all four maps. It's going to be core. Cool. I've played it a couple of times, and I'm not going to lie. I haven't really enjoyed it. It's quite different. As I said previously, all four of these maps are very different, but core is one that I kind of... I wouldn't say I dislike it, I just don't like it as much. Hey, what's up YouTube? Joining me in the final of the four maps, and this is core. I've played it a couple of times already so far, and I'm not going to lie, it's uh, probably my most disliked map of all four of them. I wouldn't say it's a bad map, but I wouldn't say I enjoy it as, the other, as much as the other four. The main reason for this is probably because it's a massive map. It's literally huge. Come on, come on, come on. Clench him, clench him. Come on, boy. He's going to come up here, watch. All right, we're going to have a, a ten, ten pound bet. Yeah, there we go. I knew he was going to come up. Let's go down into the Valley of Darkness. Oh, we could have had him as well. Yeah, so this map, let me give you a basic overview of it just from the, uh, the mini map. So there we go. It's basically centralized around that middle square. Just gave a, a free kill away there. It's basically centralized around that middle square. And then you've got like sewer pipes on all sides going into it. And this is the center right here with this big magnet, I believe. I don't know what that's doing. There's um there's no features in this map. Like uh like the clown map. Like it doesn't have a feature like that where it releases bombs. But it's still a very interesting map, to be honest. It's massive. It's I think it is the biggest map in this game. And a lot of it's not really much fighting has been featured around this side of the map. Most of it's featured around the side which I'm on my way to now. For some reason, everyone just seems to drift towards the other side rather than this side. I don't know why. I think because this side's a little bit more just open. Sorry, a little bit more enclosed compared to the other side. It's a lot more open. So I'm going there now and I guarantee you there'll be a, a little mini war going on. This side is a lot more used. I think it's basically because this just, I mean, this building here to that building here could be seen as like, as like a little mini map because it's just war, like you shoot them, they shoot you, blah, blah, blah. So that's why a lot of people fight on this side rather than the other side. Oh, is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. So my, oh, mother, yes. Oh, what a clutch. Got him with the last, the last little uh, round in the gun before it reloaded. Yeah, baby. See if we can win this game. We're on 7 and 5. I joined a tiny bit late. Not too late, to be honest. Like a couple of kills into the game. See if we can get the uh, first place victory. There's that guy. Oh, he almost, he almost killed me there. Let's just sit around here for a little while and see what we can conjure up. Oh, he was just waiting for me to come out there. Let's go around the... Uh, Oh, come on, I shot him way before he even opened fired. I wouldn't say this gun's very good, actually, to be honest. Let's switch to the bow. The bow's a lot more uh, optimal to use in this map, to say the least. I wouldn't say this gun's the best. I mean, look at that. And it hasn't got a silencer in it. I, I like to use the silencer when you're against uh, intermediate to uh, good players when you're playing the game. If you're against amateurs, then using a silenced gun's pretty much pointless because... Hardly anyone uses the actual map to read where the uh, the gunfire is coming from. But obviously as you get the more intermediate players, a lot of them do. So what have we got? Anyone coming into the centre? Nope. Someone seems to be coming around here though. There we go. He's dead. I got you, boy. 
I can't wait to try out the zombies. I still haven't tried zombies yet. Just to see if I can. I mean, zombies is so fun to play, so I won't have any problem playing a lot of it. Yeah, baby. What are we doing? It's 54 to 43. Let's have a little go with his gun. What guns have you got there? The ASM-1, I think it's called. Is that what it's called? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's called that. I, li I didn't even see him there. I only saw his little blue sparks firing. See where everybody else is. So what guy? What do you guys think of the maps? Comment below, guys. What, what's your favourite one? I mean, a lot of people are probably going to say that this is their favourite map for the simple fact that it's huge. But... I guess it's just everyone's own uh, own opinion on what they want in the game. I prefer smaller maps because I like to get a lot of kills. And in larger maps like this, it takes a lot of running around. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, come on. I could have had three there. That was dodgy. Oh, I got them anyway. I got them all. I got them all. I managed to clean up the mess I made. I made a big mess of that. Oh, we've gone on to five kills now. That little mess led to five kills. Can he get the sixth? Yes, he can. And he clenches the final kill cam. So, guys, if you enjoyed the video and just the overall outlook at these four maps in particular, obviously these are the only four maps that have been brought out. I hope they bring out something else, but not too soon. Obviously, the new Call of Duty is coming out in November, and I cannot wait for that. That's when I'm going to start producing a lot of Call of Duty videos. Subscribe for daily videos, guys. Have a lovely day. Peace out. Oh, 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 oh,